Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be working on something crazy. And by crazy I mean crazy. Now this is kind of a throwback Urban Decay palette and I love this thing. Like I'm obsessed with wild colors anyway. So I think we're going to do a sunset eye today. So if you want to see how you go from this this to this keep watching all right guys so we're gonna start out with a base on our eyes and this is just a like turquoisey base and we're gonna start by applying it to our eyes Alright guys, so next we're going to go in with Nooner on a fluffy brush. Electric palette. Yay. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to blonde you there. Alright. So on a flat shader brush like this, and this is just the Elf C brush, we're going to go in the color Chaos. And these are like highly pigmented but they're somewhat powdery. So you're just gonna wanna pack that on. And I do recommend that if you're doing this, to make sure that You take your time and don't do your foundation first because you can already see right in here and underneath your eye that you have some fallout and that's just because these are so pigmented that a lot of times when eyeshadows are this pigmented they do have a tendency to be a little bit powdery and This is what it looks like in the beginning. And this is a tad bit scary. I'm not going to lie. So you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And let's just pack it on. Then you have this. And like I said, this looks kind of scary. I'm not going to lie to you about it. It is, it is a little bit scary. But now, we're going to go in with a another kind of like shader brush. Now this one's a little bit more fluffy. This one is a Real Techniques eye brush. And we're going to go in with the color Urban. And that's this purpley, kind of like a, like a true royal purple color there. We're going to go in with that color. And you're just going to want to blend that here on the outer edge. going into like the middle of your eye. And you'll 
want to blend that all the way up and out. Now you do want to take your time to blend in the middle where the two colors meet. And that's just so that way it doesn't look like such a harsh line. Because nobody wants a harsh line when they're doing their eyeshadow. So I just mix the two colors and try to blend them together. So we have one eye done here. And we'll do the same to the other eye. You just start on the outer edge and blend in. You're gonna go in about halfway, as you can tell here. into both colors just to kind of get a mix and go right directly into the middle and blend. Now as you can tell I've lost a little bit of the blue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in the chaos and I'm just going to pack that back on. the inner half here. Alright. So now, we're all brought and bushy-tailed here. So to speak. And the next color we're going to go in with is going to be Jilted. And this is just to help to blend out your crease. So what I do is I take the fluffy brush that I first used in the very, very beginning. And I clean it off. And then I'm going to go into Jilted. Which is more like a pinky, plummy color here. And that's what it looks like. So we're going to take this color. And you're just going to want to blend. Right along the top there. Just right in here. And that's just going to help blend out those harsh edges. And this gives you a better transition like a more ombre effect for the color we're going to go into next because you can see how those colors are blended out alright we're going to do the same thing on the other eye you just want to blend Now that that's blended, this is what it'll look like. Alright. So now, I'm going to go in with a more precise brush. This is a little bit bigger than a pencil. usually do is I'll take a big fluffy brush like this that don't have any product on it and I'm going to blend. And the thing about these is they're so, so like blendable like you can see how this is faded out perfectly. Alright guys, so we got our eyeliner on our faces done. Now we just got to finish the lower lash line and put on our lips. Alright, so we're going to go in with Gonzo to set the 
lower lash line and you just dip your pencil brush in it. The same brush we used to smudge out that eyeliner. And we're going to go right along that lower lash line. Don't smudge it out. And this is just a broader blue to help set that color. So you go right in here like that. And now for our inner corner highlight, we're going to take, we are going to take Revolt, which is just this really pretty silver color here. Like my whole favorite color out of the whole palette. No lie. I'm obsessed with that color. And we're just going to hit our inner corner highlight here. Just to help brighten up our eyes. And I'm using the same brush that we used to set our brow with. And we're just going to dab it in. And there's our inner corner highlight. Now for our top lash line, we're going to go in with liquid liner and black, this felt tip. And we're just going to draw a pretty seamless line here. Now I'm not going to do a wing for this. You can if you want. Um, that would definitely be a beautiful uh, touch to this look. We're going in the same way on this side. So that's what our eyeliner looks like. And that just helps give you a contrast from your lash line up. Now for mascara, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara. And this is just mainly to plump up the base of our lashes. And I will bring it throughout the lashes, but this is what the wand looks like. It's just your traditional makeup mascara one and we really want to work this into the base and then bring it up throughout the lashes and you want to do that throughout all of your lashes and then just sweep through them normally do the same thing on the other side. Let's throw up the base and wiggle it in and come down. Start the base, wiggle it in and come down. And I always like to let my top layer dry before I even try to do the bottom. That way it doesn't transfer. But on top of that, to give us those bold, full lashes, we're going to go in with L'Oreal Voluminous in black. Now this is like a holy grail for everybody. This and the carbon black. Work that into those lashes as well. Now my lashes don't really need a lot of curl. I mean some days they're flat, but most days they are really good. So 
so I don't always curl my lashes. If I wear a falsies, I do. But right now, I think we're just gonna go with the natural lash. Alright. So that's one I done. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera how big these lashes look with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. With those inner lashes as well. And I go very weird about how I do my lashes. I just want to make sure that I get every little bit of those lashes. Alright guys, so that's it for the eyes. And now we'll go ahead and do our lips. So today for our lips, I'm using the Maybelline Whisper and Petal Rebel. It's just this really pretty pink color. And we're just going to apply this directly to the lips. Now I have moisturized my lips beforehand. Colors gorgeous with these eyes. And we'll just add a little bit of gloss. This is the LA Colors Lip Gloss, and it doesn't have a color. It's in a like Barbie pink color, baby Barbie pink. I just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I'll take my ring finger here. And this stuff is incredibly sticky. So I use very, very little of it. And I just blend it. And that's our look. Alright, so I'm going to 